Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got space weather, an amazing shot of a star in the galaxy, more dark matter circus acts, and we're drawing from a paper covered last month to point out a key fact about the pole shift. We've got major announcements today as well, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find it was a very calm day. Minor pops, nothing significant, and solar flaring on this half of the sun is absent. Far side is still active, but facing the other way. Corona hole facing Earth, and its solar wind is about three days out. So we come to the sunspots, and after a bit of growth in peripheral umbras yesterday, it pretty much stopped overnight. It's like the skeleton of a titanic beast here that needs its teeth and claws if it wants to play solar flare with the big boys. Let's head out to APEP next, and they say the super ancient Wolf Ray A stars in tight orbit are flinging dust micronova shells off into space. In full honesty, they don't really know what's happening, but they know James Webb has allowed a full 3D render, which brings up even more questions than it answers. They don't even know 100% that there are two stars here. It's just the only way they could explain this, even if the actual shape avoids explanation. Weird, cool, kind of amazing, and another example that stars toss off teeny tiny little pops all the time. We just have not been calling them micronova events. 10 points for this team, haven't heard from them in about 5 years. Back when we did more cosmological physics, it seemed like every couple months a new debunking of dark matter or dark energy was coming out of this university. Not a bad one here today is a resurrection act, dark matter actually behaving like normal matter, which actually means it isn't dark matter anymore. Gotta love the state of astronomy right now. Lastly on the article front, we hit this last month on the lack of a South Atlantic anomaly 250 years ago, indicating it is new and it is part of the ongoing pole shift event right now. But buried in that document, they show how wildly protected the Holocene has been over the last 2,000 years. It's almost certain civilizations rise flourished under that high magnetic protection not such a good look for what it means in our imminent future. And of course, the magnetic field is trending down now to where the hashed or broken line runs below the colored curves. We're down and heading down further quickly. That's the topic of the winter tour and how to survive what's coming. First event in Omaha in six days, San Diego next month. Come out and get a head start on survival. Most of you know Ethical Skeptic is coming to Observer Ranch first week of May for a pull shift super event and now let's announce Dr. August Dunning in April. Dr. Dunning will be with us at Observer Ranch for two weeks next season. First, the retired NASA scientist and I will be doing a Micronova weekend called Echoes in Time and then it's Dry Fasting Week and you really need to read that page carefully if you want to attend two major events with Dr. August Dunning in 2026. And for those planning to be at the ranch next year at all, Kat has made this Observer Ranch membership and I honestly think she is giving away the house. Your name goes on the founder wall. You get two free nights. No day passes needed for a full year. Access to the health center and gym facility we're currently building member events, discounts, and it supports the children's events and speakers and the library at the ranch. So for example, I will go full Denver if the extremely rural Fremont County children are in need of a night of fun. Yeah, I did that last night. This is the kind of stuff we're supporting. The winter tour, the major events at Observer Ranch, the annual membership, which gets you way too much and supports awesome stuff, links to all of that right down there below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.